Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Once again, my name is DJ, right here at Krav Maga CDK, and welcome to My Opinion Monday. My Opinion Monday, today is a day when I talk about certain things that I have an opinion on, opinion on across the martial arts world and just the world in general. Disclaimer, this is my opinion. This is not the opinion necessarily of those of Krav Maga Worldwide, Krav Maga Merlin, also Taekwondo, me and my affiliates. This is my opinion. And today I want to talk about my opinion on what happened in Charleston. I want to give my opinion on racism. Racism. Racism is something that exists. It doesn't exist a little bit. It exists a lot. It exists so much that someone went into a place of worship and killed several people. It exists a lot. To deny that racism exists is pretending. When I teach my students, I always use analogies. And I'm going to use an analogy here. When my students first start to spar, or when punches are first being thrown at them, almost instinctively, they tend to close their eyes. And I teach my students that when you close your eyes, it doesn't make the punch hurt less. As a matter of fact, it makes the punch hurt more. Because the punch that knocks you out is the punch that you do not see coming. You have to open your eyes. You have to open your eyes to racism. Everyone who's watching this video, every adult that's watching this video, knows someone that's racist. Everyone watching this video knows someone that has racist tendencies. I personally know several people that are racist. I have several racist friends. I have several racist people that I have been brought up with. They're racist toward white America. You may know several people that are racist toward white America. You may also know several people that are racist toward black America. To deny that is closing your eyes. As self-defense instructors, we must not only teach how to punch and how to kick and what to do when a situation happens. We have to teach awareness. We have to teach de-escalation. We have to teach preparation. How do you prevent something from happening? How do we fight back before the fight actually takes place? Well, one way is to go out and spread the word. Go out, spread the word, and talk to your friends. It may be your parents, it may be your, your, your siblings, it may be your friends, your co-workers who are racist. You go out and you spread the word, you talk to them, and you 
tell them that all black folk are not thugs. That all black folks are not criminals. That all black folks aren't uneducated. Some are, but most aren't. Go out and talk to your family. Talk to your friends. Talk to your co-workers and tell them that all white America is not secret members of the Ku Klux Klan. They're not all descendants of evil. They're not all racism. They're not all racist. Some are, but most aren't. Spread the word. Go out and tell people that all police officers don't become police officers because they want to brutalize people. They want to hurt people. That all police officers aren't bad. Some are, but most aren't. And perhaps if everyone were to go and spread that word. True, most won't listen, but some will. And if everyone goes to spread that word, perhaps we can change the fact that racism exists a lot and make it exist a little. And possibly, one day, it won't exist at all. Once again, my name is DJ, here at Krav Maga CDK. My prayers goes out to everyone that's lost their lives in this ridiculous thing called racism. Giving you confidence during chaos and showing you all respect.